Hi, you guys. Welcome to Audrey's Reading Area. Alexa, what time is Audrey's Reading Area? Audrey reads in her area live at 8 o'clock p.m. Live at 8, you guys. Yes, and here I am. Shout out to my grandbabies, Korea, Sana, David III, and Kaden. I love you. I miss you guys so much. I pray that I get to see you again and real soon. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you. Now, on this T-shirt Thursday, T-shirt Thursday, T-shirt Thursday, I have a very fun and exciting book that I'll be reading to you guys. But first, click that like button, hit that share button, then go on over to YouTube and smash that subscribe button there at Audrey's Reading Area. Well, all right, all right, all right, you guys. We're going to jump right into this book, Zubles or Zubles, Zubles. Spring to Life, Zubles, Spring to Life. Talent show mix up. As you can see, I don't have those characters, so I got my fill-ins right here. <laughs> Hope you guys like Flutter the Butterfly and his Zuby friends. I could have gotten a butterfly, right? Hmm. Are putting on a talent show. Zubles from all over the all over Zubles Isle are excited to show off their special talents. But on the day of the performance, uh-oh, Waddles, Waddles the Penguin forgets her costume and is very upset. Will her friends come to the rescue? Well, if they are her friends, they will, right? Let's jump right in and see what it says. <clears throat> Zubal Spring to Life. It's written by Mickey Mathes. Mathes. And it's illustrated by Artful Doodlers. Artful Doodlers. Well, so far they've done a great job. I'm loving the illustrations. Hmm. Have you heard of Zuby Isle? It's a magical world full of adorable zoobles. Little balls that pop open into fantastical creatures on their habitats. There are many lands on Zuby Island. Can you find them all on the map? Zuby loves to spend time together and play all sorts of games. They always have so much fun. And this says Zubals magically transform when on top of their habit habitats. Happy tats. Happy tats. <laughs> Interesting. One day, Zubles from all over Zuby Isle came to Chillville, a snowy land full of cold loving creatures for a day of play. I love chilling out here, said Fenton the forest fox. Fenton was from Pine Grove, a woodsy land with lots of pine trees. He was digging through the snow to keep create a hideout. Some snow landed on Estelle the starfish. <laughs> Estelle was from Sigonia, a splashy region under the sea. Did you know that no two snowflakes are alike? She said. She said. Estelle was super smart and knew all kinds of fun facts. No two snowflakes are alike, but they feel alike. They feel the same when they land on you and it's so cold, right? They feel the same. <laughs> Where are ears in flutter? Wondered Waddles, a penguin from Chillville. Just then a big snowball nearly began to shake. Snow exploded everywhere as ears, the bunny, popped out. Ears was from uh, Patagonia, the land of pets. Surprise, he shouted, hopping high into the air. As soon as ears landed, a snowball dropped from the sky and plopped down right between his ears. <laughs> Flutter the butterfly laughed and flew down. Surprise to you, he teased. Flutter was from Petal Point, a beautiful region full of colorful flowers and insects. Aw, aren't they cute? All right, you two, game over, said Jaffa and Jaffa the giraffe. Jaffa was from 
Azuzia. Azuzia. Where zoo animals lived. Hmm. She was very polite. She turned to Waddles and said, Thank you for inviting us here today. We had a lovely time. It was so much fun, Flutter agreed. <laughs> Can you all pop in to visit me at Petal Point next? I thought we could have a talent show. What's a talent show? asked the other Zoobles with interest. Of course, Estelle already knew the answer. It's an event where everyone performs a special skill and the audience votes for their favorite, she exclaimed. The Zoobles all thought it sounded like fun. They headed back to their regions on Zoobal Isle to practice their talents for the show. Mm. Sounds interesting. Ears was the highest hopper in Pentagonia. He went home to practice hopping high. Jaffa had the longest neck. Long neck. In all of Azuzia, Azuzia, she went home to stretch. Stretch. <laughs> Fenton always found the best hiding places in Pine Grove. He went home to practice hiding. Estelle was the smartest Zubel in Sigonia. She went home to read about Petal Point. Reading is fundamental. I keep telling you guys. I keep telling you. Read, read, read. Waddles was the best designer in Chillville. She went home to create a beautiful costume. Hmm. Flutter already had a plan for what he was going to do. Plus, he had to get things ready in Petal Point for the show. Interesting, 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 right? The day, the big day arrived. All the Zoobles gathered in front of the stage and were excited for the show to begin. Mm. Estelle was the first to take the stage. She asked the Zoobles to quiz her with questions about the flowers in Petal Point. How many grew there? Which was the biggest? Which had the softest petals? Estelle knew all the answers. The crowd clapped in amazement. Mmm. Aw, the Zoobles. Ears came out next. He hopped high in the air and pulled a flower out from behind his back. He then landed on top of a giant mushroom, threw the flower onto, into, uh, into the crowd, and hopped back onto the stage. The audience was delighted. Then it was Jaffa's turn. The Zoobles oohed and odd as she walked over to a tall flower on the side of the stage. She stretched her neck up, 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 until she reached some petals. She grabbed a mouthful as the crowd cheered. Oh, stretch out that neck. Stretch out that neck. Well, all right, all right, all right, you guys. Next up was Fenton. He appeared on the stage and then suddenly disappeared. He made funny noises and the Zoobles realized that he was hiding behind a mushroom on the side of the stage. The audience yelled and stopped their feet. Woo, woo. <laughs> Fenton, my friend, that was clever. But watch this. A voice boomed from the back of the stage. Flutter zoomed overhead and dropped flower petals on the audience. The Zoobles waved the petals wildly and whistled. Oh, wow. They had good time. It looks like fun to me. They had fun. Finally, it was Waddle's turn. 
Everyone watched for her to come out, but she had a problem. She couldn't find her costume. <gasps> what will I do? Waddles whimpered. She had worked so hard on her performance and now she couldn't be in the show. <gasps> Give me a minute, Estelle said. She pulled herself into a ball and rolled around. This was how she did her best thinking. Suddenly she popped open on her habitat and held up one of her arms. I have an idea, she announced. Petal Point is full of beautiful mushrooms, flowers, and grass. Let's make a Petal Point costume for Waddles. Aw, look at her. Aw. The Zubal sprang into action. Jeffa grabbed some grass and wove it around Waddles' waist. Flutter put a small mushroom on her head ears strung a bunch of flowers into a necklace and hung it around her neck fenton and estelle covered her with more flowers when the zubles saw waddles parade around in her beautiful costume they clapped and cheered waddles was the clear winner of the talent show oh then doesn't that make them all winners because they all helped her and they all helped her make it Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Waddle said. I couldn't have won without all of you. Couldn't have won without all of you. Waddle's friends gathered around her. That's what friends are for. Especially when we have a friend as cool as you, Waddles. And shout out to my friend, Adriana, my friend and classmate, Adriana. Some people call her Adriana, but she's Adriana. Shout out to you, because that reminded her, uh, reminded me of you, where it says, thank you, I couldn't have, I couldn't have won without you. Waddle's friends gathered around her. That's what friends are for. So shout out to you, Adriana. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, man. We've been going back and forth with helping each other, and we've been doing it, and we are winners, and we got this. We got this. All right, Adriana, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, thank you so much, you guys. Shout out to everyone who is on here listening to me read. And you're listening as I read fun and exciting books like this on this T-shirt Thursday. So don't forget, you guys, click that like button, click that share button, go on over to YouTube and smash that subscribe button for me. Smash it real good. Yes. And don't forget, tell all your friends about Audrey's reading area because they want to hear it too, just like you. Yes, they would. Well, all right, all right, all right, you guys. I will see you again tomorrow, tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. It's only a day away. See you tomorrow here at Audrey's Reading Area.